Agera R from 2014 in Southwest Florida. Uh, in real life, the car is known as the Honigsegg Agera R. Uh, so let's take a look around. And uh, first off, we can see these headlights. They look very beauty. Uh, look very nice. So do the rims. Uh, you can see here we have vents that actually pick up. Uh, yeah, very nice. You can see we have vents on the side and carbon fiber. A lot of things. The vents, the mirrors, everything. We have a nice picture here. Uh, maybe if we walk around the back, you see we have a carbon bumper. I think these daylights look kind of nice. Uh, and uh, we have this very nice spoiler here. Uh, the license plate in the middle. And I think the back is really cool. So this does the, so does the uh, trunk here, I would say, as well. So here we have the Koenig, Koenig Saga Aga, Agera or Okay, the Koenigsegg Agera R. Uh, it costs 3.1 million dollars and it has almost max stats in everything except for free, as you can see. Rear wheel drive, two seats, uh, 1140 horsepower, 880 with pounds of torque, I think it is, and it weighs uh, 3164 pounds. Now, when it comes to the speed and acceleration, it has both high top speed and good acceleration. Uh, top speed I'm not sure about because we don't really have space to reach top speed, but uh, I'll show you how or, uh, or what we can get to. Let's try. As you could see, we accelerated very quick and we reached the top speed of 271 miles per hour. Now, let's take the brake. Now we've got the brake and uh, here we're going to do brake, brake from 100 miles per hour when we reach the light over here. And uh, we're going to see how well it brakes. Good, I would say. See, the distance is uh, not too bad for braking from 100 miles per hour. So now we're going to be testing the sound. Uh, so here we go. Oh, accidentally sat in the wrong seat. So let's start up. As you can hear, very nice start up sound. And I would I really like the idle sound. Let's rev it. As you hear it sounds very cool and it also has a backup here, which is very nice. Let's move on to the end of the review. So, uh, this is the last part of the review before the final rating, and here we're going to supposed to be talking about miscellaneous stuff, and I don't really have much to say except for that this car actually can do donuts. Uh, so here we try. Need to turn off the reaction control, of course, and. Uh,
it's not too easy, but you can do donuts. So let's go to the final score. For the final score, I would give this car an uh, 7.5 out of 10 because I think it's uh, I think it's great, it has great top speed and uh, great sound and stuff. But I don't, I think it's a bit overpriced at 3.1 million dollars. Uh, I wouldn't say it's worth that much, but it's uh, still very nice. If you can, I would still recommend buying. Uh, 